English Story Times, Book 35, Story 14. He's tugging on the rope. He's tugging on the rope. Line 1. There could be any number of things. There could be any number of things at the other end of this rope. At the other end of this rope. There could be any number of things at the other end of this rope. Question, what's on the other end? What's on the other end of this rope? Of this rope. What's on the other end of this rope? Well, there could be any number of things at the other end of this rope. Line two. He's leaning backwards. He's leaning backwards. Digging his heels in, digging his heels in, or digging in his heels, or digging in his heels, and tugging on the rope, and tugging on the rope. He's leaning backwards, digging in his heels, or digging, or digging his heels in, or digging in his heels, all right, and tugging on the rope. Question, how are leaning, digging in, and tugging used here? How are leaning, digging in, and tugging used here? Well, he's leaning backwards, digging his heels in, or digging in his heels, and tugging on the rope. Line three. The rope isn't slipping out of his hands. The rope isn't slipping out of his hands because he has a tight grip on the rope. Because he has a tight grip on the rope. The rope isn't slipping out of his hands because he has a tight grip on the rope. Question. What isn't the rope? What isn't the rope doing from his hands? doing from his hands what isn't the rope doing from his hands well the rope isn't slipping out of his hands because he has a tight grip on the rope line four the rope could slip out of his hands if he loosened his grip the rope could slip out of his hands the rope could slip out of his hands if he loosened his grip. If he loosened his grip. How could the rope, how could the rope slip out of his hands? Slip out of his hands. How could the rope slip out of his hands? Well, the rope could slip out of his hands if he loosened his grip. Line five. To help hold his position. To help hold his position, he's digging in his heels. He's digging in his heels. To help hold his position, he's digging in his heels. Question. What is helping him? What is helping him hold his position? Hold his position. What is helping him hold his position? Well, to help hold his position, he's digging in his heels. Line six. The difference between the difference between pulling and tugging is pulling and tugging is tugging is pulling with force. Tugging is pulling with force. The difference between pulling and tugging is Tugging is pulling with force. Question, what's the difference between, what's the difference between pulling and tugging? Pulling and tugging. What's the difference between pulling and tugging? Well, the difference between pulling and tugging is, tugging is pulling with force. Line seven. Something that doesn't budge doesn't move. Something that doesn't budge doesn't move. And he's not budging. And he's not budging. 
Something that doesn't budge doesn't move, and he's not budging. Doesn't budge equals what? Doesn't budge equals what? Why isn't he, why isn't he budging, budging? Why isn't he budging? Now, something that doesn't budge doesn't move, and he's not budging. Line eight. Men that have calluses, men that have calluses, which are thickened or, which are thickened or, hardened skin on their hands, hardened skin on their hands, don't get blisters easily. Don't get blisters easily. Men that have calluses, which are thickened or hardened skin on their hands, don't get blisters easily. Question. Men that have calluses on their hands, men that have calluses on their hands, don't get what on their hands? Don't get what on their hands? Men that have calluses on their hands don't get what on their hands? Well, men that have calluses, which are thickened or hardened skin on their hands, don't get blisters easily. Nine, you can get rope burn, you can get rope burn, if you slide down a rope or get a rope, if you slide down a rope or get a rope pulled through your hands, pulled through your hands. You can get rope burn if you slide down a rope or get a rope pulled through your hands. How can someone get, how can someone get rope burn on their hands, rope burn on their hands. How can someone get rope burn on their hands? Well, you can get rope burn if you slide down a rope or get a rope pulled through your hands. Okay, your goal, 61 seconds. There could be any number of things, there could be any number of things at the other end of this rope. He's leaning backwards, digging his heels in, or digging in his heels, and tugging on the rope. The rope isn't slipping out of his hands because he has a tight grip on the rope. The rope could slip out of his hands if he loosened his grip. To help hold his position, he's digging in his heels. The difference between pulling and tugging is, tugging is pulling with force. Something that doesn't budge doesn't move, and he's not budging. Men that have calluses, which are thickened or hardened skin on their hands, don't get blisters easily. You can get rope burn if you slide down a rope or get a rope pulled through your hands.